Devil Fruit Mutations The devil fruits are mystical fruits found in the world that can give the eater many different and varying kinds of strange and interesting abilities. Depending on what type of fruit you eat, you have a different variation of the fruit itself. Now an interesting concept that we've been recently getting is the artificial devil fruits, the man-made smile or so to say, and it's leading a lot of questions and it's leading to the answers of these questions which I think a certain person will answer all these questions. Dr. Vegapunk. Now, Dr. Vegapunk, I've said it many times, I believe he's the smartest character in One Piece. In a previous video, I said he was the smartest character. Some people said that I was wrong, that Ben Beckham was the smartest, but Vegapunk is 500 years ahead of everyone, pretty much. So, like, I can't see anyone being smarter than, uh, than uh, Vegapunk. I can't see it. And Oda said that when it comes to Dove Fruits, there'll be a certain scientist that will be revealing all of the information, and Vegapunk is that man, so I'm excited. We have characters like Chopper who change the whole concept when it comes to Zoans. You know, Zoans had three transformations. I believe it was like a hybrid form, the full form, and then the base form. Well, Chopper made melt multiple, multiple forms with the Rumble Ball and crazy stuff. Yo, Monster Point, epic. Now we know people who eat the Del Fruit, I'm gonna go through the basics right now. People who eat the Del Fruit cannot swim, and that's been shown, showcased many times, mostly with Luffy. Sometimes you see comedic moments with uh, Ch uh, Chopper and Brooke. And yeah, so the not swimming part we've seen it and we've seen it being showcased throughout the series when it comes to Delphi users and then we also have not eating two Delphi fruits and this seems like a great way to stop it because like, I was thinking yo the beginning I was like yo what if someone ate multiple Delphi fruits but you understand that you cannot eat two Delphi fruits I remember when uh, Jabra was speaking about this but then the whole puzzling event of what uh, Blackbeard did <laughs> shake the whole core of One Piece now the first class I'm going to talk about is the Paramecia class and this class has many different kinds of abilities I feel like it's the one of the most unique class I think if not the most unique class when it comes to the three classes of dull fruits we have characters who have superhuman physical abilities or traits just like Whitebeard the man who was said to be the strongest man in the entire pirate world uh, yeah Whitebeard was a beast with that amazing quake quake fruit then we have characters like monkey D Luffy the main character where the paramecia affects his actual body the features of his body where he can stretch his body and do amazing attacks so yeah it, you see the difference now but then you have a character that can maybe change the things uh, the objects and the environments around a character I want to bring up that relates to this is Shiki for an example we've seen what Shiki's ability could do when levitation and crazy stuff like that and a unique one is Mr. 3 who Mr. 3 being a paramecia he can generate the actual substance which was wax out of his dull fruit and yeah it was crazy so you see the difference between all these paramecia dull fruits and their difference in the classes now the Zoan class seems like the most basic one and I'll be honest here in the beginning of the series I was thinking this too but as we've gone through the story and we've seen more you crazy stuff in the Zoan class I definitely am sometimes most excited for more of the Zoan Delphus that we'll get to see in the future of One Piece. Now Zoan Delphu pretty much has a basic, you transform into animal hybrids, yes you've seen this throughout the series of One Piece, we've seen Dalton in Drum Kingdom. Uh, chopper with this human human fruit we've seen we've seen this throughout the series of one piece and yeah transformations luchi kaku jabra like we've seen the transformations and yeah what can what more can i say but then there's actually a class that is actually rare and it's called the ancient class and we have x drake as one character that can bring as an example where we saw his delfru as being i believe it was a t-rex don't quote me at that it might be another dinosaur but it was a, some sort of dinosaur and i gotta say yeah the ancient delfru class of the zoans yeah that made me hype because it brought more future stuff and yeah we see in the recent ancient man the mammoth but let's be honest here, the biggest thing when it comes to Zoans is the mythical class of the Zoans, these subs, the mythical, like the mythical Zoans are something that intrigues me to see what other mythical Zoans that Oda is going to introduce in the One Piece story. We know that character that everybody sees as the mythical one is Marco, and yeah, Marco, yeah, his dove through the Phoenix, yeah, that was so savage, his introduction in the Marine Ford, I don't know if you can call him introduction because he's already introduced, but the way he introduces dove fruit was so epic and badass. And what's even more interesting about mythical Zoans is that it's more rare than the Logia. We've seen the Logia, there's not a lot of people with Logia Delphruits in the One Piece world. 
but the fact that the mythical zone is even rarer yeah it's definitely a treat to see when the mythical zones uh, appear i know I, I believe Sen Goku was a mythical zone i'm not don't quote me on that but i believe he was now last but not least the class that had everybody scared pre times give the logia class and i'll be honest with you the logia class is a very scary class i remember seeing some crazy moments where aokiji and luffy fighting and i was like damn or like uh kizaru and, and, and all the other uh, supernovas but then we find out like characters who really that brought out some unique powers and that unique power is hockey which pretty much is the counter to logias that makes their body actually be able to hit them but you do need to have these a stronger hockey to get through that devil fruit now when it comes to the three classes of the primusia the zoan and the logia the logia is the rarest class now i did say the mythical zones are rarer than logias but when it comes to the three classes the logias are the rarest class that was you've seen they have the least amount we see in the one piece story and yeah definitely there's logias are most of the logias that we've seen in one piece story are pretty op like you just you see how pretty sick they are i remember seeing how the hype of crocodile and anel early on and then you go to the admirals like it, yeah logias have definitely been shown with a hype now to break down the Logias, I'm gonna have to break it down to elemental stuff right here. Yes, I said elemental stuff right here. So we're gonna break it down and we're gonna discuss all the elements when it comes to Logias. Now the first one I'm gonna bring up is the solid element. And the first two characters that come to my mind are characters like Aokiji who uses the ice Delfru, and then the characters like Crocodile who, who uses sand and his Delfru. And those are the solid ones when it comes to Logia. Next one I wanna talk about is liquids. Yes, I'm talking about the liquid and uh, the example I'll bring for liquids is Caribou. We've seen him in Fishman Island. And yeah, he's just kind of, a, when it comes to elements, he was a liquid. And yeah, definitely Caribou is the character I want to bring up for the example. Gases. Yes, I said gases. And there's actually been showcased a lot of gases. Uh, Smoker in Logtown, where we saw him him being introduced with his Loki adult fruit. And then we have uh, Caesar, the, uh, Caesar the Clown, I believe his name is. And yeah, Caesar the Clown. So I'll be honest, I've been calling Caesar just Caesar. So like, I'll be saying the clown. Like, I'm not too sure. People were correcting me last time. But yo, I call him Caesar, man. Caesar. We also have plasma. Yes, when it comes to the elements, the plasma element. And the characters that I definitely got to bring up when it comes to the plasma is Portka's D8 with the mare mare no me the fire dog fruit and and now yes and now with the i believe lightning so yeah you could see that uh, like it, it, there's elemental classes when it comes to these logia dog fruits we see the different elements that these guys were under and last but not least what can i say darkness it's said to be the most powerful logia devil fruit and the man who has it is blackbeard and i get into so many arguments in the comment section when people tell me blackbeard is not a logia blackbeard is not a logia did you miss the blackbeard versus ace fight this man clearly said that he's a logia he's using a logia devil fruit ability but he can't make himself uh like all the other logias they can get take hits he can't do that because darkness actually absorbs the hit yeah it absorbs everything it's darkness <laughs> So we talked about the three classes when it comes to Delft Fruits and we talked about many other things like the Rumble Ball and the artificial man-made Delft Fruits but a thing I want to talk about that's been recently introduced in the Dressrosa arc, well reintroduced in the Dressrosa arc and was first mentioned in the Impel Down arc is Awakening and I've been saying that Awakening is going to be a huge thing in the One Piece story in the future and like when it comes to Awakening we saw that when it comes to Logia Delft Fruit, well we haven't seen Logia use Awakening but many people have been predicting and theorizing that Punk Hazard, Aokiji and Kainu use their awakening now I do believe they use their awakening and you saw the punk hazard how devastating was the environment so I believe the logos can actually change the environment and I also believe that crocodile might have had awakening and alabasta who he made the environment stop raining people have been going at me with that I believe a crocodile was the one who made it stop raining because once crocodile was defeated the rain started running down coincidence coincidence I think not I also want to say this when it comes to Paramecia Delphi users we saw Doflamingo and yeah Doflamingo was pretty much all the objects the buildings around him he was turning to string it's pretty much simple everything around him he was turning to string so we saw at the paramecia and the zones we stay it was been stated that they get more power and durability and yeah so we've seen with the zones some people have been theorizing that chopper actually had an awakening 
yeah, yeah, Chopper, but I think Chopper did not have a wicked with Monster Point. I believe that was just the effect of the Rumble Ball. But yeah, uh, to each his own opinion. Lastly, like I said, I want to talk about mutations when it comes to the Delver Fruit. And I believe some mutations is going to be something that may be brought up in the future of One Piece. Delver Fruit is some, one of the core elements of One Piece. And the place that it could be brought up is the Kaido arc. Because we know Kaido and that whole situation with a smile and Kaido's obsession with Delver Fruits, wanting his whole crew to have Delver Fruits. Like, there's going to be something brought up when it comes to Kaido and mutations when it comes to Del Fruits, he might even have a mutation Del Fruit. Who knows? I feel like something has to happen to make him unique. He might just have a mythical. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I feel like mutations in the Kaido arc is something that huge that will be brought up there. Everybody's been saying that Kaido has a Zoan Del Fruit. And I'm one of those guys who actually believe he has a Zoan Del Fruit. But uh, I, I could be, I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But like I said, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Tell me what you think about mutations when it comes to Del Fruits and all the Del Fruit classes from the Paramecia to the Zoans to the Logia and the subs classes of all those classes. So it's definitely a huge topic in the One Piece world. I want to see all your guys' opinion in the comment section. Yo, I'm telling you right now, when Vegapunk is actually introduced with his face and everything and actually shows a face reveal, yeah, we're definitely going to get some mad information. But that's pretty much it. Like and share if you enjoyed. Like and share only if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more One Piece content. I'm the Legend Mac, and I'm gone.